Okay, Sam, what's Vold got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Ket installations. Any suggestions on how to get on Ephra's good side? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vold's temperature range is fixed well below freezing with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it. Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Can you even see through this snow? Trust me. <clears throat> Follow the lights, Ryder. manageable now. Temperatures back to normal. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. It corners a little poorly, doesn't it? Your vehicle? I swear I will turn this car around.
That looks like catch salvage. Be careful, Ryder. I recommend scanning the body. Speed bump! No man's damaged! The cat planted a chip in this Angara. A tracking chip? Can you reverse it to get an nav point? The chip is disabled, but if I receive more scans, I could repair the signal. Sensors read a mineral not found in my database, Pathfinder. That's something we can scan for Chief Lucan? It would improve his geophysics VI considerably.
Pathfinder. I can hack that message console. So there's a control center for catch shuttles on Vold. This message contains a fragmented passcode. If we find more terminals, I can reassemble it. And we can take out the control center. I wonder if the cat found anything good. Let's check it out. Did your people have plans to settle here? You seem easily affected by the cold. <sighs> I wonder if we'll ever see a so-called golden world that won't be complete death to live on. I detect a data pad nearby.
Black Sewell. Should I know about it? That's a conversation for another time. Pathfinder, I have informed Olisk. The drop point is secure. Good. The Resistance should get their supplies now. Remnant sight ahead, Pathfinder. It could have defenses in place. I detect an Angaran data device, transmitting a low-frequency homing signal. Someone left it on purpose.
machines up ahead. There's an Angara device in this camp, Pathfinder. I can provide more information via your scanner. I hear the researchers here drill into the ice in order to study it. Someone around here probably knows what that ice is for. Now I'm thinking about that one job I did. Drilling for Ezo on an ice planet. This bug should be feeding Ket information to the Resistance, but the connection was dropped. Why? A technical issue? Unknown. If you scan additional bugs, I can locate the broken link. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder.
heads up. There might be a remnant in that site. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. It's dead, of course. If circuitry is intact, we could power it up and gain entrance.
compulsory military service. Is that right? Most. I didn't. My father took us from Palavin before I came of age. Maybe it's good not to learn exactly the same thing as everyone else. I hope the Angara know we're nothing like the Ket. I wouldn't want them as an enemy. They're a tough bunch. I and many others have never known a world without Ket. The Resistance fights so our children may one day be free. Sam, another memory prompt? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. about practicality. Half the battle's about intimidation. Ah, yes. The Frumfrav do that exact thing. The what? Frumfrav. Tiny, timid creatures. When disturbed, they puff up and screech to scare away attackers. You're joking. There's no such thing. Would I lie? Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Looks like an Angaran settlement. Let's see if someone here needs help. Temperature decrease. Wait. Commander Dozeal sent out an alert. An alien is on vault. Well, I'm keeping an eye on it.
The main axle's got iced up again. What's causing it? Probably an issue with the de-icing system. I'll take a look. I saw your ship land earlier. Impressive vehicle. I was about to say the same to you. Is that thing Ket? Sure is. On our last dig, the Ket destroyed our land cruiser. So I decided to repurpose one of theirs. It's only fair. You stole from the Ket? You're my hero. From what I hear, you're doing a lot more than just stealing from them. Is using Ket machinery common out here? Only if we stumble on it, or steal it. Mostly we stay away from their stuff, in case it's a trap. They said traps? Sometimes they rig their machines to explode and lay them out for us. I'd say they're clever, but they learned it from us. What do you do here besides jacking vehicles? I was a civil engineer on Aya. Now I'm a mechanic for the research equipment here. One minute you're designing an aqueduct, the next you're elbow deep in an ice drill. That's a big change. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's tough out here, but every day is exciting. Besides, Aya can get on without me. The Jara Station needs me. Do you work with Remnant Tech? Not really. I can't activate it, so there's no point. Those tall structures with the lights are fascinating, though. I'd love to get inside one and tinker around. If you're interested, they're north of here. I'll get going. Stay warm. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support restored. Ah, pretty sure the alien. We heard reports. By the scourge. Can't imagine anything the here interesting. The the top layer is completely different. They contain traces of four different Just exploring devices. to familiarize myself, or see if someone needs help. Now try Skiot if you haven't already spoken to him. He's been looking for someone to help him. Now, is there anything you need from me? You were saying something about ice talkers? Huh? Don't let anyone hear you. Stupid story that started years ago when Dinor and I were students in Australia. Talk to Dinor. He knows more about how that tale spread. What are you doing with this giant block of ice? That was cut out from below Hajara. We're right above an inland sea and the ice goes deep. Very deep. Everything under the first layer was perfectly preserved from a time before the Scourge. There's a lot we can learn from the composition of the deeper layers. Microbes, ancient life forms, all untouched by the Scourge. I won't disturb your work. Only the cat showed us the same courtesy. I don't know what else I can do to strengthen my argument. I... Oh, hello. You're that rider alien everyone's talking about. What can I do for you? You said something about ice talkers? What are those? Oh, that's something of a joke between me, Joan Lith, and everyone who went to school with us in Australia. One of our classmates was at an old archaeological dig and thought he heard a voice through the ice. Two months later, another group claimed they heard the same thing. An angry voice. What was it? Too much Malay. That's what Janleth says. Now it's become something of a joke between us. This isn't Haval. You spent too long out there in the dark. You'll get weak, sick, or worse. It's bad. I get it. How do I stay alive? The moment you see sunlight, break cover. Soak up all the rays you can. I'll be a target. Not for long. You'll get a lot from just five minutes of exposure. After that, get back under cover. The human is listening to us. You here to learn survival tips from old Percy? 
Why does your kind need the sun? We draw nourishment from solar radiation, keeps us sharp, even healed minor injuries. But we have to keep out of sight, or the cat will spot us. You sound like an expert, and I'd like to survive. What I can teach wouldn't help. Different biology. Your body can't store a charge. If you go too long without sunlight, do you get sick? Lack of regular exposure puts our bodies under stress. Too much of that, and we're no use to anyone. Have to keep my strength up for the resistance. Good luck out there. I'm ready to go, Pussy. Not so fast. You still don't know how to read a weather pattern. Found an abandoned supply pack on the Eastern Plain. Anything good in it? Tools, some frozen nutrient paste, pictures of her family. Too many faces. People from around here. No, it looked like they were from farther east. Guess they didn't like it. Extract the metal from that sample we took? I did. It's strong. If we find more, we can send it to the resistance for processing. Keep digging. I have a good feeling about that site. Heard there was an alien lurking about the place. Don't try to start something. We're all combat trained by the resistance and prepared to die. Try not to disturb our data probes. Our research is valuable, though it may not mean much to you. What's your focus out here? Glacial movement, seismology, climate, anything Aya needs from us. Resources are tight, so our scientists know a bit of everything. That way, we are prepared for anything. Are you in charge here? Lead researcher. Worked as a seismologist on Aya before I volunteered for Hijara. You volunteered? We all did. Aya is fine. But all that green gets boring. I can't speak for the rest, but I came here for the adventure. So far, Vault has lived up to my expectations. Always a new mountain to scale. How long has this station been around? Only a few years. This used to be Ket territory before the Resistance pushed them out. We've discovered a wealth of resources the Ket protected out here. Metals, minerals, even a new species of edible cold-weather fungus. All that was hidden under the ice? And more. We've only scratched the surface. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here. Well, I haven't seen many of your kind around here, but I've heard lots about the Pathfinder from my friends on Aya. All good things, I hope. So far. Do you get much business out here? I do all right. The trick is to not stay in one place too long. I travel between here and Techix. Sometimes they even make it up to the resistance camp. Isn't that dangerous with the cat all around? I've had a few close calls, but they haven't caught me yet. The stars are on my side. I'll take a look at your stock. Got plenty of supplies. <laughs> 